Welcome to part 3 on how to buy a TV. In the last two parts we've covered size and TV types. In this part we talk about display resolution and refresh rate, with strange acronyms you might have come across when browsing for televisions online, reading television reviews, or walking the aisles of your local consumer electronics store, whatever you do will be insignificant, but it is very important that you do it. Oh, thank you Mr. Gandhi. I needed that, which reminds me, did you know that sometime after you joined the dead there was a female Indian Prime Minister named Gandhi? Mrs. Gandhi went to Moscow once and the Soviet leader Khrushchev took her on a tour of the city in his limousine. He had been to India and gave her a hard time about the sanitary conditions. There, he said, when I was in Delhi, I saw the streets full of human excrement. Mrs. Gandhi was awfully embarrassed. But just for a moment, ahead of them, in the middle of Moscow, a man was squatting and doing his big business on the side of the road. With relief, pun intended, she pointed this out to the Soviet leader. Khrushchev was furious and told his driver to stop immediately. He shouted, get out and shoot that man right away. The driver went over to the sidewalk, his pistol pointing, spoke a few words, and then returned to the car. Sir, I can't shoot that man. He's the ambassador of India. There is a big advantage about knowing some television jargon. If you happen to read television reviews online, or read a manufacturer's or an online seller's television details you will know what they are talking about. Same goes for talking to an employee in an electronics store. You will be able to make sense of it all, which will allow you to make a better buy decision. Even if some bad Apple would try to manipulate you into buying an expensive box that does not fit your needs at all, you would hear alarm bells ringing. Even if you can't understand everything that is said to you, you will at least be able to walk away safely. And he told me that he witnessed the following in stores. A single person, not into television speak, making a lack of TV jargon known through body language, getting hammered with acronyms and strange terminology, until that person left the store, naturally without buying a television. There's nothing harder than finding an easy to understand way to explain topics. Every trade has its jargon. I know during my military career, I had to deal with soldier terms that civilians would have not understood. Specific terms often cut through endless explaining, saving considerable time among professionals, that is. I know there are a thousand more important things in life than learning about modern television jargon but all you need to understand the general concepts, mind you, is about five terms, and the doors are open for you. Just learning those terms or acronyms will cut through any fog of confusion you might experience. You will have the freedom to explore the television arena at your own volition. Let's start with strange numbers followed with a PRI at the end. Could be 720p, 1080p or maybe you saw 1080i. Today's high definition television or HD television you can watch is being broadcasted in one of these two display resolutions, 720p or 1080i. What are they? What does it mean? Okay, 720p means. There you get 1280 by 720 pixels resolution, and the P behind the number is short for progressive scan. Now what does that mean? It's very simple. It's a technique that scans and draws the television image line by line. It's an improvement over the old technique used with the analog television sets, the vacuum tubes. There the scan technique was called interlaced, which meant first the odd lines were scanned and drawn and only then the even lines. It wasn't line by line then. Besides 720p 1080i is the most popular display resolution. 
it is the same resolution as full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels. But it is scanned like in old times, interlaced, as Gandhi just explained. Chances are high that if you are watching high definition television now, your station will transmit in 1080i resolution. If not, then it's in 720p. So why do most televisions have stickers on? them saying 1080p, or Full HD, if there are no actual 1080p televisions. Broadcast in that exact resolution? You're asking tough questions. TV? Programmers would probably love to use the full display power of today's modern televisions but they can't. Broadcasting in real 1080p, with the progressive scan technique I mentioned earlier is just not technically feasible at the moment. It's too much content, with too little compression, and too little bandwidth. The good thing for you is that you don't have to worry much about 720p, 1080i or 1080p because the vast majority of televisions you will see online or in stores are in full HD, that is 1080p format. There are probably some LCD models especially smaller screen size mortals, below 30 inches or so that might still go for 720p. So if you see 1080p or perhaps a sticker saying Full HD or something, you're fine. That is the standard today, and I feel that price differences between 720p and 1080 is just too small to make a fuss about it. The next term you will see in television descriptions is the refresh rate. You probably guessed it from the name, refresh rate is how quickly your television changes the picture within a second. The name Hertz or Short HZ is commonly used for that, which means in how many cycles per second that complete redrawing of the television image is done. In the US that is 60 times or 60 Hertz, due to the history of electricity which we can't get into now. In Europe it's 50 Hertz. Mr. Hertz, by the way, was a scientist who proved that electromagnetic waves do exist. Because he couldn't make any money out of this discovery he later opened a rental car company. It isn't wise to be too sure of one's own wisdom. It is healthy to be reminded that the strongest might weaken and the wisest might uh. Oh, I was just kidding, man. Lightened up Gandhi. If I had no sense of humor, I would long ago have committed suicide. How about we move on with refresh rate? Where were we? Ah. A basic high definition television today, you. No with digital TV compared to the old analog type, has a refresh rate of. 60 Hz. An LCD television has a problem. It's. Called motion blur. When something moves fast on a television. Screen the image tends to blur. Happens in action scenes, sports. You name it. The problem is that those basic LCD televisions could not respond quickly enough. When some image pixels would change from light to dark or vice versa. Many of today's LED LCD, or just short LED, televisions come with advertised refresh rates above 60 Hz. For example, double at 120 or even more at 240 Hz. They mostly use a technique called frame insertion to get rid of the motion blur you insert the frame in the right place to smooth out things the term that many manufacturers agree upon for this is motion interpolation see that wasn't too hard was it why not make it simple let's call it smoothing and you're fine now you can intelligently discuss this topic with the folks at your local electronics store and they will think you've been reading technical television lingo all your life we can't get into the details how that works because you'd probably shoot us rather soon if we weren't dead already but if you use that term in your favorite search engine you will get plenty of thorough explanations so high refresh rate is better right so you get the television with the highest refresh rate there is and all's well. That ends well. No, it's not that easy. Andy told me that when he was working the 
aisles of the largest electronics stores in his country, he could easily tell. The difference between a standard 60 Hz, well, in his country it's 50 and 120 Hz, but higher up, because his eyes are not what they used to be due to age, but mostly sex, drugs, and rock and roll, he could not really see that much difference. Neither could most of the visitors to the store. You would hardly believe but there is a problem with having a real crisp, sharp image produced at those really high refresh rates. It's somewhat embarrassing really. The television experts even came up with a name for it. They call it the soap opera effect. Again, it's worthwhile to Google it for really cool in-depth insights. Just use television soap opera effect and you get plenty of results. Most modern HD television allow you to switch off that feature that is so hard trying to get rid of motion blur, so if you encounter the soap opera effect and you don't like it all hope is not lost. The expert knows more and more about less and less until he knows everything about nothing. Ah, you agree with me on this? We talk more about motion blur and the phasing out of the refresh rate in part 4. Bye from us.